Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. For today's topic, we're going to be talking about Maneater. So, Maneater was developed by Tripwire Interactive. They said that this video game will be available on Xbox, PC, PS4, and the Nintendo Switch. The publishers for this video game, Tripwire Interactive, didn't have a lot of interactions with his fans. But thankfully, they have announced that this game will be available on May 22, 2020, which is a month away from now. So the developers for this game, Tripwire Interactive, said that the shark that's going to be available to play on here is going to be the bull shark since this shark can live on both fresh water and salt water. And when you start off with this bull shark, you're not going to start off as a full grown adult like in Jaws Unleashed. You're going to start off being a basic juvenile shark that's going to have to tackle multiple enemies such as a barracuda. Barracuda. A Mako shark. And uh, an alligator from Florida, if I'm correct. American alligator. Most of these scenes are going to take place in the Gulf of Mexico, if I'm correct. Basically, this video game is going to be a bull shark that's going to terrorize people in Florida, I'm assuming. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a version of Amity Island with their own great white shark, but in Florida. Hopefully, in Maneater, we're going to see a good ranking system in which we're going to see our shark progress from being a baby juvenile to an adult. We have also seen in some of the Tripwire interactive videos that this shark can evolve from being an adult to something very different, such as a concrete bull shark. I don't know what to call this, but also there are other type of sharks. We have also seen the bull shark that, that has like the Charizard special effects since it uses fire, but also we have seen another bull shark where it uses lightning, which is pretty interesting and pretty different from any other shark games. Basically, the only other shark game we had was Jaws Unleashed, to be honest. But Maneater seems to hold a lot of promise, and I'm very excited to play it as soon as it comes out. Hopefully, this game can have like a good 10 hour content of story gameplay in it, because Jaws Unleashed was such an amazing game. I still play it till this day, it's still very, very fun. I recommend to all the people who haven't played Jaws Unleashed to play it, so then when Maneater comes out, you're gonna be hooked up on playing Maneater. Hopefully, if they have a good 8 hour content for their video game, I will be so happy with it because I love stories that involve nature in it, especially sharks. And it's not something you often see the sharks in video games, and especially a shark you control in a video game. So 8 hours, it's uh... It's a must, I should say. Not really a must, just it would be a good addition if they had 8 hours of gameplay for the story mode. The other fun part about this video game, based on the trailers, is that the sharks can do a lot of chaos. So basically it can jump out of the water, it can tail whip uh, animals or humans with its tail. Yeah, it's basically chaotic and there are like tons of explosions, you can hold people in your mouth. I really, really am looking forward to playing this video game. Hopefully, there won't be any microtransactions in this game. And please, if the devs are listening to my video, I know they're not going to listen to it, but please, if you can, add DLCs in there where you can play as other sharks, such as the Great White Shark, the Hammerhead Shark, the Bonehead Shark, Goblin Shark. These are like very fun sharks you can add in that game, but. It will be understandable if they don't add other sharks in there since the bull shark is the only shark that is obviously that can obviously live in fresh water and salt water at the same time. Other sharks cannot possibly do this. But hey, it would be fun if they added more skins too. On another note, 
Thank you for watching my video and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye bye.